Hello and welcome to an absolutely spectacular map here called Alma, Missouri. And we are going to do a farm build. And I'm going to try and do this in a speed run. Um, and uh, kind of just do it without uh, well, keeping any mistakes. And hopefully I won't make any mistakes. But we're going to try and do that. And we have $1.5 million to do this build. And that includes buying the land and building the farm. Now, as part of this, we're going to have to buy all the land along this road here that comes out of the main farm, which includes all these fields along this road. And, you know, I absolutely love this farm up in the corner because it has these little creeks going through it. And I think it just makes this farm special. But so all the fields along this road going all the way back to this field here, we're going to have to buy it, which does make it a little challenging of the 1.5 million because we're going to spend a good chunk on land. So that will make it a challenge, but I think we can do it because we are going to sell some of the buildings that came with the farm, which does give us a little bit more money, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a challenge. So with all that established, let's uh, get started and get this built. All right, so we got our $1.5 million loaded in here. So let's get started with the build. So first we need to do, let's buy all the land. And oh my goodness, this is going to cost a lot. So that does present us being a challenge here because our money is going away really, really fast. All right, so that leaves us with 527 thousand eight hundred and twenty seven dollars that is uh that's not very much but we can recover some of those funds from selling buildings now i actually don't want to sell all of the buildings because i mean the uh this farm looks amazing but there are some of the buildings that you know for the build we're going to be doing don't quite fit with the theme and style what we're going for so uh let's go ahead and sell some of these Let's see. Yeah. So we're getting a little bit of money back, which is good. Now, uh, before we uh, get into some of these buildings, I kind of want to take a look at them. So I do love the level of detail and the way this is pig barn is done. I mean, I kind of hate to sell it because it just looks amazing. I mean, the junk and the shed and everything like that, it just looks amazing. So let's head down to the ground level and uh, let's check all these out before we sell anymore. All right, let's start with this shed here because I don't want to sell everything and if it fits with what, what the goal of this build is, kind of what I have pictured in my head, then we'll keep it. Now, I actually do love this, so I think we will probably keep that building. Now, let's open up this barn here. And wow, this thing is amazing inside. I actually do like it. Um, I think we'll probably sell it though because it doesn't quite fit with what I am picturing in my head. Um, and like I said earlier, this pig barn is just absolutely stunning. I mean, wow. Um, however, we're not going to be doing um, pigs. Um, the kind of plan I want to do is cows. So we'll probably will unfortunately sell that. Um, I do like the garage. And this house kind of small and kind of cool though. I, I mean, look at the level of detail all around it. I mean, that's just amazing. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. So that kind of tells me what we're going to keep. So we're going to keep the house, the garage and that one shed, but this, uh, the pigs barn or fortune, I think we're going to sell that. I kind of hate selling it because it's just so, it's so cool, but kind of what I want to do on this build though, is I want to make like a, you know, cow, barn or cow farm uh, as far as for the animals so the barn we're also gonna get rid of that but we're gonna keep the shed and the junk behind it and then from here we're gonna do kind of start building out our uh, farm so let me just kind of fix the terrain here real quick around the uh, pig barn we just got rid of because the it kind of has a little dip here so let's level this out and then we're going to build up from here. All right, I think we're just about good there. 
Let's do a little bit of softening to kind of get any last little bumps out. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do here real quick is because we're gonna be building over the top of the fields, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this field and make it uh, grass and easy dev. That is such an amazing mod. If you're on PC, it's definitely something you definitely want to get because it just, especially when you're setting up a map and everything like that, or setting up a farm, huge advantage. Plus also if you have like little glitches happen, cause we all know there are some glitches in this game, but we love it anyway. But easy dev helps fix those glitches. All right, so we're going to, there we go. Got the field all set. Perfect. So we have this field is grass. So that gives us something um, where we don't have to worry about crops growing in around our buildings because that's the whole reason for setting it to grass. Grass, we don't mind that growing up around our buildings, but crops, no, yeah, we don't want that. And I might change that field too if we have to build over there, which I'm pretty sure we will. Because that might be where, I don't know. You might see, this depends on how this goes out. I kind of have a general idea in my head, but not positive still. So we're gonna start with um, sheds. We need a couple of sheds. So we'll pick a couple out here and then um, place those down. And so I think what I'm gonna do is just for sake of time, I'll put like putting the uh, buildings down, I'll put, gonna put that into a time lapse and then I'll kind of come back and as we get done putting the buildings down and then um, start doing some of the landscaping. So we'll go ahead and start this and I'll put it in time lapse and then uh, I'll see you once we get some of the buildings put down. All right, we are back and we got our first three uh, sheds done here. And I'm trying to think of what we want to do for the uh, animals. Because I don't think a cattle pin is going to fit over there. So I think we're going to also have to uh, claim that field as well. Because I don't see an animal pasture fitting up here. So. We're gonna have to uh, hop over down here and we're gonna change this field as well over to grass, which I kind of was hoping not to, but it kind of, we're gonna have to do it because we still have lots of fields left for the farm. All right, there we go. All right, so let me head back up here and get out of the way so that way I'm not in the way of the farm build. And let's uh, continue on here with putting down some more um, buildings.
It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright All your life you've tried be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Ooh, I know you've tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done it's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright All right, we have all the buildings placed and there's no money left. We have $617, so we are definitely done putting buildings down. Um, I did want to do some decorating, but we don't have the money. So we're not going to do any decorating on this as far as like buying stuff. So let's go through the buildings here real quick, though. Um, so we have this little bit kind of good shed for storing equipment in. Uh, this building I have actually never used. I've actually had it for quite a while. It's from MA7 and they make fantastic uh, structures. I mean, I have a lot of them, almost all of them. Oh, that is so awesome. Uh, but this is their workshop and I actually cannot believe I have not used this uh, before now. Well, that was not the light switch, that was a door. Uh, there usually is like a little thing panel with the lights on theirs. Oh. It's over here. There we go. And see here. Yep, that was it. But yeah, this is the workshop. This is for working on your equipment. And oh my goodness, the level of detail and all the details. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I did this. This loft. Wow. And you have the little lift that can get your stuff up to there. That is amazing. I'm actually very sad I have not used it yet. Uh, so this silo. Um, I have used this in personal playthroughs, but never on a series. This silo is amazing. I really like it. And one of the cool things is that you have this little room back here. Uh, we can turn the lights on and everything. It's cool. It's like a little area, but you also have this little screen here for the uh, silos of where everything is, which is really cool. And out here you have your load and unload point, plus all the little silo bins there. Um, what's also really cool about this is all these little areas open up and you have a little storage area over there. You can open up all these doors here and you kind of see stuff and see all the little bins. Let me close that one, open this one. And yeah, so I mean, that's that's really cool. It's just kind of like a nice little touch down to it. But the cool part is this little area over here. So if you have your trailers for hauling your grains and stuff, you can have a place to park them in the silo building that is awesome 
Um, so we have this little pass through back there behind it. That's really cool. So let's go down here and check out the cow barn because this is from MA7 as well. And we have our manure pit, slurry pit built in, which is nice having the manure pit built into it. Um, but yeah, this cow barn, I have, uh, I have used it on a personal playthrough. I don't think I've put it into any of my series though. Um, but we have all of our calf pins here. Um, they're more for look, they're not for actual calves, but I love how they, how they have them set up there. Let me just get those. And then over here, the milking parlors on MA7 are amazing. So you have this right here. So you can press a little button here and you're milking cows. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It's just a little, uh, kind of a cosmetic thing, which is really awesome for like a, if you're doing like a story mode or something like that, or want some realism in there, it's really awesome. Like, Hey, I'm going to milk the cows while well, you go milk the cows. Granted, it doesn't produce any milk, but it kind of provides that real life story in there. So back here we have our parlor room for storing the milk and a little shop area. And yeah, but yeah, this uh, barn is just amazing. I like the level of detail it has, all these little areas. And then back here on this side is actually a storage area. So. You can kind of use it for storing all your equipment for your cows. Um, if I still had some money, I put down a bell storage point. Um, but we ran out of money, so yeah, you know we can't can't do it all. But yeah, I yeah, this is actually really amazing, and um, I kind kind of want to play it now because I like this barn, um, and I have not used it on the series, so. That kind of means we're going to have to do a series now on this farm build, I think. Is that kind of what that means? I think so. I like how these doors open up. So like when they're open, you have the passageway for the cows. And when they're closed, it's the passageway for your uh, machinery to come through. That's pretty cool. And of course, you have your animal point here. And you have that little walkway on both sides up at the top there. So, I mean, if you want to get like really difficult, you could probably store your bells up there as well. Um, but yeah, so we got all the thing in and I, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, kind of the reasons I picked this farm is that Creek. I really love the way the creeks run through here. So pretty much now the only thing we need to do here is landscaping. Now we can't do any trees or anything like that, or any of the decorations because we're out of money. I really wish we had some money because I would love to put in some fences and some trees and some other stuff, um, but we don't have the money. So we're not gonna do that. And, I want, and I'm purposely doing the budget. And we'll kind of talk about more about that at the end of the video, because there is a purpose behind us sticking very strictly to that 1.5 million. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put this back into a time lapse for while we'll go around and do all the landscaping. Uh, we'll do some softening, we'll do some flattening, and we'll do some sloping and everything else and kind of put our textures down the ground and everything and get it all looking nice.
strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets cause we're in this together now yeah we're in this together now Oh, 
Places I've never been, but you can walk through this world without a few punches upon your chin. I think I lost you somewhere between twenty and twenty-three, but I still hold you dear despite the heartbreak you caused in me. 'Cause you. Shining lights, yeah. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Honey, we're not like the others. No reason to be. Late in this fire in our lungs, so it's too hot to breathe. Lover, I live for the day you and I turn to. Alright, so we got all the landscaping done, all the paths are in, everything is good to go. So we're going to do a little walk around just to kind of make sure I didn't miss anything because, um, yeah, like right here, I kind of missed something. It's one of those things like you can't really tell from above if you're done or not, so you have to do a little walk around. So let's uh, get in here and just kind of use some soften tool to fix that real quick. Um, it's one of the, the little downsides. It's like when you're looking from above, everything looks great until you get down to ground level. Uh, so we're doing a walk around the farm just to make sure I didn't miss anything like that. And then um, I think we'll be pretty much uh, done with the farm build. Now, I would love to keep going because I still have a bunch of stuff I want to do on this, but we have that 1.5 million dollar budget and um we have it for a reason and so let's talk about that a little bit so kind of the plan is i'm going to keep walking around here and see if i can find anything else i missed is the uh i'm going to start a new series and we're going to use this farm actually um and it's going to be a little bit different than what i typically do it's going to be a little bit of a let's play with some role play some backstory it's it can be a little bit different for me so i wanted to try it because i had some ideas for it and uh make sure all the, everything else looks good here and uh but part of the backstory on that is we're going to be buying a farm for 1.5 million dollars hence why we're sticking with the 1.5 million uh so that uh, series should hopefully be coming soon. I just kind of have to figure some stuff out in the scheduling um, because it's kind of full right now on the episode. So we'll try and fit that in there. Um, it won't be right away, but it will be coming soon. I'll start working on that now. And I really hope uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it because it's going to be something different. And I think it'd be really fun to do so. I think we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up this little uh, farm build 
video here. I really hope you enjoyed it, and we're going to close it out with a little uh, flyover ending montage. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.